It is Sunday, September 18th, and this morning in our devotional, it's something that I know you all, if you've watched me, <laughs> you know that I have said before, God always provides, and He provides our every need. So, let's see what God's Word says, okay? Matthew chapter 6, verse 8, your Father knows what you need before you ask him. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. Let me read that again. That's a very important verse because sometimes we pray and we say, well, um, I'm not seeing results. I'm not, you know, I, I don't see God answering my prayers. So let me read this again. It's Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. Malachi chapter 3 verse 10. I will open the windows of heaven for you. I will pour out a blessing so great you won't have enough room to take it in. Try it. Put me to the test. Deuteronomy chapter 11 verse 14 and 15. He will give the rain for your land in its season, the early rain and the latter rain that you may gather in your grain and your wine and your oil. And he will give grass in your fields for your livestock, and you shall eat and be full. Psalm chapter 81 verse 10. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide, and I will fill it. Psalm Chapter 34, verse 10. The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. I want to repeat that verse. Psalms 34, 10. The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. You won't lack any good thing if you seek God and put Him first. But at the bottom... It says, does God always provide? We meet the God of, of pro, uh, providence. We meet the God of providence, sorry. We meet the God of providence in Abraham's story. What a scary assignment to go and sacrifice your son, whom you've waited so long. Abraham does exactly as the Lord asked him, for three days traveling to the to the place of sacrifice, Abraham faithfully held on to the knowledge that God is his Jehovah Jireh and God, the God who provides. And just the right moment, God shows up and provides. He is accurately aware of your needs. His eyes see you and his perfect timing he will provide in his perfect timing. And Abraham is a very, very good example because Abraham was very obedient to what God asked him to do, even to the point that he was taking his son to sacrifice because that's what the Lord told him to do. Now, how many of us as parents could, uh, could do that? How many of us have that much faith like Abraham had? Abraham knew. He knew and he trusted God. He trusted God that he would provide a sacrifice so that he wouldn't have to sacrifice his son. And what happened? God showed up. At his, at, God showed up in his timing. He was right on time. Now, was that a test of Abraham's faith? It could have been. I don't know. But 
boy, I want that kind of faith that I could trust God in everything. And that's what we all should have. Scripture in the New Testament says, when the Lord comes back, will he find faith in this on this earth? Think about that. We have, we have to have faith just like Abraham. Faith that no matter what it looks like, no matter how we feel, I owe this to Sandy, <laughs> no matter how we feel, no matter how we feel, no matter what it looks like, God will provide and God is a healer. Uh, no matter what we feel like, we're healed. That is standing on God's promises, like we talked about either yesterday or the day before. But think about these things, okay? Think about what, think today on what great faith Abraham had and what we need to do to have that kind of faith. That's the kind of faith that we need, guys. It is. And like I said, New Testament says, when the Lord comes back, will he find faith on this earth? We got to stand on his promises and not be double-minded about anything. If we want a healing, we can't, we can't uh, be praying for a healing and then speak, oh, my allergies are acting up today. I owe that to Sandy. <laughs> that really helped. <laughs> but, you know, no matter what it looks like, we are healed. If we want a healing, if I want a healing from my allergies, I'll use myself. If I don't want a healing from my allergies, I got to stop being double-minded. I got to stop saying, oh, my allergies are acting up today. I got I to gotta stop saying that, and I just got to say, I praise you, Lord. No matter what it feels like today, I know that I am say I know that I am healed from this. So, you know, we got to stop being double. But I got to stop being double minded and speaking double. No, that's not. That's not. That's not scriptural. So, uh, that's why it's so important that we gather together and we have other like-minded people that can help us because that what sandy said helped me something that tracy said about double-mindedness weeks ago helped me we all help each other guys okay we help each other encourage each other as we see the day approach which i do hope it is very very soon all right and that's all i have for you all this morning uh, i don't want to keep you all long um, as always, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. I'm trying to talk too fast this morning. Like, share, and subscribe. Join us on the Disciple Server. The link is down in the description box. There, we do study groups, and not just mine and Tracy's. Jess has study groups also late in the evening. It's at 8:30 Eastern Standard Time. So, um. For the ones that, you know, can't make it to the other studies that's during the day. You know, so a lot of people work. Join Jess in her study groups in the evenings. So, and communion on Saturday. So, <laughs> but lots of things going on on there. And that is the place that we can help encourage each other. But I love you guys. And I do hope that you have a very, very, very blessed Sunday until we meet in the clouds with Jesus.